Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 9 of Electricity and Magnetism for BSc and MSc. Right. So here we're going to discuss about AC circuit with resonance resistance only, AC circuit with inductor only and AC circuit with capacitor only, right, with phasor diagram. So before we start, please subscribe the channel if you are new to my channel and also share with your friends if you like my videos then hit the thumbs up button also hit the bell icon as well so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded inspire me to create new videos for you so and stay connected so now let's start now let us discuss ac circuit with resistance only that means suppose we have a circuit here we have a resistance this is resistance r and this resistance is connected to a voltage source this is alternating voltage source that is e is equal to e naught sine omega t right. sine omega t and uh, hope you know this uh, alternating voltage is given by this right and e naught is the maximum emf and uh, here omega is the angular frequency that that is 2 pi by t right now here you see suppose uh, here this e is instantaneous emf at time t that means at an instant t right and suppose instantaneous current a current flows through the circuit is suppose t and then we know that according to ohm's law i is equal to v by r here v is nothing but e so we can write that uh, i is equal to e by r r is the resistance right now e is e naught by r into sine omega t we can write that way right sine omega t now you can see this term e naught by r that's going to give you the maximum current in this circuit that's why we can write i is equal to i naught sine omega t where i naught is equal to maximum current e naught by r right and uh, if you draw if you represent this uh, graphically and now you see a graph of the you know ac current uh, alternating current uh, it varies direction in every half cycle right like this and its graph is sinusoidal like this that's why here we used to write sign so now you see let me take uh, just wait let me write uh, let me represent these things in uh, graphical uh, in graphical method right graphically let me represent this so here is the x-axis suppose and this is the y-axis and here you see along this axis we have suppose time t now uh, for this uh, equation e is equal to e is equal to e naught sine omega t right so its graph will be like this right and here we have got maximum voltage maximum emf e naught right and as you can see i is equal to e divided by r that's why definitely the i is lesser than e that's why its graph should be like this both are in the same piece but here the maximum current is less so that is i naught right so that is i naught so I hope you have understood this now let us uh, understand with the help of phaser Phaser is nothing but a factor that originates from the origin. This is the origin, suppose, uh, right? It originates from the origin. So this is a factor 
right so it will make an angle with this x axis which is equal to omega into this t which is uh, known as phase right so here it will make omega t right so here you see let me just erase it okay so similarly you can draw it for current also this is for emf e and you can draw it for current also so that will be in the same direction this vector will be shorter because current is uh, mag magnitude of i is lesser than that of e that's why it will be shorter so here you see uh, now you can resolve into two components here so this component with this angle omega t this component will be definitely cos component right that will be e not cos omega t right e not cos omega t and this component will be this component of emf will be e not sin omega t right e not sin omega t okay so this is e not this is i not right so similarly for i not also you will get uh, two components along this axis you will get uh, the cos component and here you will get the sine component i not sine omega t so here i not sine omega t and this component that will be let me write these things here okay so this component this yellow part this component will be uh, i not cos omega t right so this is the phasor diagram for this uh, ac circuit with resistance only right so now let us discuss about the ac circuit with inductor only now let us discuss about ac circuit with inductor only suppose we have a circuit with inductor this is the inductor itself inductance is l and just let me draw it here okay connected with uh, ac voltage source that is e is equal to e naught sine omega t and suppose here you see uh, what does the inductor do so it uh, due to this source suppose i current flows through it and this inductor you know will produce an emf to oppose it uh, to oppose the region of this current so let me uh, consider that emf is suppose a small e right so here you see that means as it is an alternating source it is alternating current source uh, it is a voltage source alternating voltage source so here current so uh, current through the circuit will vary right with time okay so this is the change of uh, rate of change of current through the circuit and this emf induced here that will oppose this current according to lens law we used to write a, a negative shine right that oppose first let me write this way e is proportional to this emf is proportional to that i di by dt so here to make it equal we need a constant that is l which is known as self inductance di dt and here we used to put minus sign because it oppose the rate of change of uh, this opposed it opposed the change of current right so that's a uh, minus comes according to the lange law okay so here you see this e is equal to we have written minus l di by dt right and which will be equal to e right this small e will be equal to capital e uh, or you can write capital e is equal to small e and here we're going to put minus sign because it uh, both are opposite right so, and then 
so let's put the value of e here that's going to be minus d i t t right so that's going to be i sorry l d i d t so from this equation if you multiply dt here then what you will get l d i is equal to e d t right that's what we're going to get e d t then d i will be equal to d i will be equal to e by l d t that's what we're going to get right so now you see e can be replaced by e not sine omega t yes omega t is the phase right so e not sine omega t right by l d t right so now integrating what are we going to get integrating it we will get d i is equal to so e not by l that is constant so it can be written outside the integration sine omega t which is the function of t only right so dt okay that's what we're gonna get now you see if you integrate then what you will get you will get i is equal to e naught by l minus cos omega t by omega because we know integration of sine m x d x is minus cos m x by m right we have used that formula right so hope you have understood this so now you see i is equal to e naught omega l this cos can be represented in terms of sine right so because you see if you apply the astc rule so you can you can see that sine 90 minus theta is cos theta right sine 90 minus theta is cos theta okay so cos theta can be written in terms of sine 90 minus theta that means pi by 2 minus theta right so here we can write this as minus sine pi by 2 minus here instead of theta we have omega t right we can write that way right so we know that uh, minus sine theta is nothing but sine of minus theta right so that's why we can write i is equal to e naught by omega l sine omega t minus pi by 2 that is what we will get right so hope you have understood here uh, till now so now you can see this term if you compare with this i is equal to i naught sine omega t then this is e naught by omega l is uh, nothing but your i naught right if you compare with this then what you will get that uh, let me clean these things okay so then you can write that i naught is equal to e naught by omega l so now if you compare with this that uh, uh, i naught is equal to e naught by r then you can see you can compare r with this omega l like uh, it is behaving like resistance right so this is because of the inductor we are not we are not connecting any resistance a resistor here. here here we are connecting inductor that's why so the, this will be called inductive reactance okay so now this omega l so let me take another slide so let me copy this equation first let me take another slide here so in this equation you can see that uh, 
I naught will be equal to E naught by omega L. Omega into L is uh, here. We can write XL, right? So here you see. which is called inductive reactance. Right, inductive reactance. And now let's go to the graph, okay. So here you see if you draw the graph, E is equal to E naught sine omega T, its graph will be again same as this, uh, here you see. Here we have time T. So its graph will be like this, right? And here you see, in this case, I is equal to, uh, here you have I is equal to I naught sine omega t minus pi by t, right? So that means the graph of I will lag behind by minus pi by two. Here you see, this point is zero and here it is pi by 2 and this is pi and this is 3 pi by 2 right and so on so that's why so its graph will start from here uh, graph of this i will start from here this way right this is 3 pi by 2 okay and this current uh, this here this is maximum emf e naught and here it is maximum current i naught right so now let us draw the phasor here you can see uh, this is the y axis this is the x axis here If we draw the phase, then that uh, which is a factor, that factor originates from the origin, right? This is the phase for E naught. This is E naught here, and here phase is omega t, and phase of that I naught is uh, omega t minus pi by two, so minus pi by two. So now you see. Look at this phasor will be like this such that it makes 90 degree with the phasor of e naught right this is i naught so if it makes 90 degree then the angle made by this i naught phasor with x axis will be this angle will be in this direction this direction will be pi by 2 minus omega t right because this this is 90 this is pi by 2 so when you comes down uh, if you take this angle only then it will be pi by 2 minus omega t so when you go this direction along uh, in the clockwise direction then we should take a minus sign here right in this towards this direction we take positive and here towards this we take negative that's why minus sign should be written there wait so this is the phasor of i naught right so hope you have understood so this angle so this angle can be written as this angle also can be written as omega t minus pi by 2 right so hope it is clear right so, so if you resolve the into components this will be e naught sine omega t and this i naught will be I naught sine omega t minus pi by 2 omega t minus pi by 2 so hope you have understood up to this point now let's uh, go to next topic so AC circuit with capacitor only suppose we have a circuit so here we have a capacitor C and connected with a AC voltage source E is equal to E naught sine omega t right 
so can't intrude this I suppose now you see so we know the function of capacitor that uh, it stores charge right so charge is stored in the capacitor that will be given by Q is equal to C into V because capacitance you have studied in senior secondary level that capacitance is equal to Q by V right you have already got that in ACS level so Q will be equal to C into V right so now you see so here instead of V we're going to take uh, the EMF E okay so we are going to take here because here E is the voltage in this case. So Q will be C E naught sine omega T. Right? Now you see I is equal to nothing but dQ by dt. Right? So rate of flow of charge that gives the current. Right? dQ by dt. So then if you put the value of Q here, then what you will get? C e naught sine omega t right that's what you're gonna get now c e naught that's constant right and if you define sine omega t you're gonna get uh, omega cos omega cos omega t right that's what you're gonna get because ddx of sine because ddx of sine mx is m cos x a cos mx right that's what we get so using that property using that rule uh, we can write this so let me write this on omega c e naught let me write the cos in terms of sine as well again so cos omega t it can be written this way cos sorry instead of cos we can write sine omega t plus pi by 2 right because you see sine 90 plus theta is cos theta right sine 90 plus theta is cos theta okay so that's why we can write instead of cos omega t we can write omega t plus uh, omega 90 plus omega t that means pi by 2 plus omega t or omega t plus pi by 2 same right so that's what we can write this is i if you compare with this equation i is equal to i naught uh, sine omega t plus pi by 2 so here you can write that this i naught is nothing but this right yeah so you can see that uh, you can write i is equal to i naught sine omega t plus pi by 2 that's what we can write and here i naught is equal to omega c into e naught right so i naught by e naught that is omega into c now we know that uh, according to ohm's law v is equal to i r so here r is equal to r is equal to v by i right so here you can see so here instead of voltage we have e naught that is emf maximum emf so let me write it e naught by i naught then we can write it one by omega c and one by omega c is the uh, capacitive reactance we used to call it capacitive reactance represented by xc okay so now let me go to uh, let me take uh, another slide so for the graphical and the phasor representation right, this is the things we have got and uh, 
e is equal to e naught sine omega t right now let me do the graph for e naught sine omega t this is the graph right so this is e naught right maximum emf now you see here the current i is leading it's lead by pi by 2 right that means e naught uh, that means emf is lagging behind right so here you see this here we have 0 here we have pi by 2 right pi by 2 and here again pi here we have 3 pi by 2 right so now you see as the current i is leading so that should be started earlier so let me let me take this is zero this is suppose minus pi by two right so from here to there it is pi by two right so that's why we have to start the curve for the uh, for i current from here from this point right it should be like this sorry this will be the graph for i and this is for e and this is for i and here is the maximum current in this point i naught right so hope you have understood now let me draw the phase so here is the vector originated from the origin so who is uh, is for e naught making angle omega t with x axis and as the current here it is uh, leading uh, by pi by 2 that's why it phasor should be in this direction its phasor should be in this direction draw it shorter right so now uh, so that's why angle between these two must be pi by 2 and the angle from the x-axis to this phasor uh, that will be omega t plus pi by 2 right this is the phasor of i naught so hope you have understood this now you see so let me draw it properly this, this angle is omega t plus pi by 2 right so here is the phasor diagram this is the maximum emf uh, component sine component of e naught and here is the uh, sine component of i naught so hope you have understood this so see you in the next lecture thank you for watching stay connected